Just 10 hours after finding out Gold Cross EMS would stop service to Richmond County, Central EMS assembled ambulances and started day one almost 20 days sooner than expected. Gold Cross says their sudden end to their temporary month-to-month -month contract is because there has been some difficulty in filling up shifts for EMTs and paramedics. Mayor Garnett Johnson and Central EMS President Gary Coger then held a press conference this evening to take everyone through the past 24 hours. And our city hood is live outside the municipal building tonight. City how has leadership been handling this? Well, right now, the biggest thing on the minds of city leaders is ensuring safety for the city, especially as we're expecting the population to grow heading into Masters Week. Now, there are still some holes in terms of how and when this process will be finalized, but right now it's all about finding the solutions to fill those holes. Could we say very little sleep? Uh, could I say very little sleep for all of our team and all of the county's team. But you know, that's what it took. Everybody getting behind the wagon and pushing the wagon forward. Pushing the wagon forward came sooner than expected. We were ready this morning at 8 o'clock, rolling. Rolling out eight units within the first hour. I, I, I made a comment that the cavalry was coming. I said it. 6 o'clock this morning, I saw the cavalry. I never thought it would be joy to my ears to hear ambulances. But as Central EMS takes off, a surge in the community comes in, bringing in a lot of unknowns. But there's one known you should know. To our citizens, you're safe, we have adequate service. As for ambulance response times, Central says. Number one, the citizens have ambulance service today. When they call 911, the ambulance responds. When they need help, the ambulance comes. I think your response times are better now than they have been in quite some time. I think you have more ambulances now and we're just getting started. How an ambulance answers the call is still a working progress. Right now Central is using handheld radios. If we can get that radio call out from the 911 center and over a handheld and get the ambulance to the person, that's what matters. And what matters most overall, the safety of the city. We have a plan in place, one that provides protection to our citizens, one that I think will improve our response times and something that we owe them so, so desperately. Interim Administrator Takia Douse and Central EMS are working through Master's Week to have a contract ready by the following Tuesday. From there, commissioners will finally get a first look into how much the city could be throwing in for a subsidy and start the negotiations from there. Coverage in Richmond County and from neighboring counties. Thank you for that coverage, Sydney Hood. Well.